Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing okay. Valentine's Day, gonna be a bit different this year. We're in lockdown number three in the UK. So I thought I would put together some lockdown inspired slash suitable activity outfits together for you for Valentine's Day. There's just four different kind of scenarios and outfit ideas. Whether you're with your loved one who you live with or in a bubble or you're meeting up and doing kind of safe distancing to maybe go grab a coffee or if you're even having a Skype date or video call because you started something quite new and fresh amidst all this madness but I hope you all managed to have a good Valentine's Day anyway so let's get straight into the styling and you should hopefully have most of these items in your wardrobe or something similar but I will leave everything linked down below as usual and if you do enjoy this video please don't forget to give it a cheeky thumbs up. This year we will be doing an M&S toucan dine even or making food at home and cooking but as it's Valentine's and we've not been able to go out it's a special occasion so I would be getting dressed up. The first outfit is a romantic meal look, so whether that's the person that you live with, or if perhaps you're doing like a Skype or a Zoom date, but you wanna get dressed up, I would say grab your comfiest LBD. I always think a little black dress makes you feel really sexy. It's figure flattering. Mine is actually from Zara and a few years old, a slip dress that still happens to fit me with my 32 week pregnant belly, but I feel very comfortable in it. It's that kind of satin material, so it's very soft, just nice for lounging around the house in. And I also actually have on some mules from Zara that I picked up in the sale, but they're really easy small kitten heels that you could wear around the house. But of course you could just put on some nice comfy socks or your slippers. And then with that, I have accessorized with some gold and silver jewelry pieces, adding in the comfort factor for being at home and wanting to get all comfy and snuggly after eating your dinner. I've just thrown over the top a really gorgeous, long cardigan and I'm sure quite a lot of you will have upped your loungewear game in lockdown just anything that's comfortable to throw over I would normally reach for my dressing gown but that's not so sexy is it so as it is Valentine's I would be popping over a really comfortable long cardigan just to keep me warm and you can even kind of pull it and wear it off the shoulder to feel a little bit more sexy I do really love the textures of knitwear and satin together as well. So that is my first lockdown Valentine's Day outfit idea. Next is one for the dog walkers or daily walkers, people who like to get their steps in for the day. This is something I'd be wearing in the day on Valentine's Day when we go and walk Brodie. So just jazzing up my dog walking outfit a little bit, making sure that I have on some sensible shoes, which are comfortable, I'd probably go for boots, uh, ones that are gonna be okay if you walk for any puddles, because we would most likely walk to a park. Then I have on some really comfy leggings, they're kind of like half leather, half cotton at the back, you can see, from the New Look Maternity range. For anybody else who is currently pregnant, I can really recommend their leggings. Really nice fit. I have sized up in them though to get them to be comfortable, but I could just guarantee that the normal New Look non-maternity leather look leggings will be just as good and they're really affordable. Then I've just thrown over a black long sleeve roll neck and if it was cooler I would probably even put underneath there a thermal vest as well to keep me warm and then over the top rather than my everyday puffer coat I thought jazz it up a little bit with this amazing teddy long jacket from Misguided. It's so warm, it's got pockets in it, it recently came back in stock so hopefully it's still available but it's just a little bit more cuter, a little bit more dressier than my usual black puff coat. And literally everybody will want to hug you wearing this as well. So a great one for Valentine's Day and showing some love, obviously safely to your little bubble or the one that you live with. And then I also have just paired over a cute little handbag. So we don't always need to take a bag out, but I need to put my poo bag somewhere and I love bags as an accessory as well. So this is a cute little white across the body from Michael Kors. And I also have on an accessory that you guys might be interested in if you're into your daily walks, making sure that you're staying active during lockdown and you want to be able to monitor your steps and also your heart rate, etc. I have this watch that I'm just about to show you. This part of the video is kindly sponsored by Yo-Yo Fit. I have the newest Yo-Yo Fit Smart Fit Watch fitness tracker. Of course, I went for the black strap, but there are other colours available. I will leave a link in the description box below with the discount code. 
the screen is customizable but as you can see there's an overview of things you can do for example monitors steps heart rate how many calories that you've burnt there's an automatic sleep tracker there's also your heart rate as I said but because you can pair your phone to it there's a number of great functions so you can pair your music you can also track the activity in sports that you're doing. You can read your messages and get notifications. Like, for example, when I go for a walk in a bit, I'll be able to add my walking activity onto my watch for the day. You can see how much blood there is in your oxygen, blood pressure, heart rate. So it's great for monitoring your fitness if you're trying to be a little bit more healthier these days. There's also things like a stopwatch function. So maybe you'd find something like that handy if you were doing interval training. To show you the app on my phone as well so you can manage all of your push notifications alarms there's an activity reminder even a drink reminder so if like me you're trying to drink more water you can do like i said there will be a link in the description box below for my yo-yo fit smartwatch just to note as well to say that the rubber strap is adjustable and really comfortable as well For those of you planning on having a movie night of snacks or a little cheeky Netflix and chill, I would say just maybe elevate your loungewear from something that you would normally wear. Uh, so for me, that would be a pair of knitted comfy trousers. These are actually from Zara. Instead of opting for, say, a matching jumper or hoodie or, again, my dressing gown, I love to live in my dressing gown. As it is Valentine's Day, I would swap it up and maybe pop on again a little bit of satin or a little bit of lace. Both materials that I think are really sexy, but also really comfortable. Mine is a top from Lily Silk I've had for a while now, so it is rather tight over my bump, but I could just get it on. And it's got this beautiful lace detailing here around your neck, bust line decolletage. So the outfit underneath is just some comfy black knitted pants with the lacy silky top and then again over the top I have gone for a cardigan just a bit of a dressier version to a dressing gown and if like me you're always cold even in your own home with the heating cranked up you will want an extra layer but again I would slouch one side off the shoulder I am a huge fan of this cardigan I've styled it up a few ways over on my Instagram if you don't follow me and you want some more outfit inspiration it's at Charlotte Buttrick but I could also Kind of fasten it up here at the waist and then of course on my feet I have some comfy slippers. These are Ugg slippers and honestly the most comfiest softest things but they have a proper sole underneath so I can run out to the bins and things in them but they also look quite chic. Now shoes like this are actually coming into fashion for spring and summer so who knows you might even see me rocking these slippers out and about come spring summer with uh, everyday outfits. My last look is another kind of go walking look, but let's think walking on cobbled streets to the town or say if you live in Manchester city centre, just basically going out to grab a takeaway coffee. So I thought I'd put something that's comfortable, warm, but obviously a little bit more smarter, a little bit more chic than your dog walking outfit. So as a base, I have the most beautiful and one of my favourite dresses uh, from pretty lavish. You'll have seen this on my Instagram feed a few times as well. It's not a maternity dress at all but obviously because it's a ribbed really nice knit material it's stretched really well and it's basically a long sleeve bodycon. I think that bodycons are also really figure flattering. They make you feel really confident and sexy in them which is what we want on Valentine's Day isn't it girls? We want to feel good. And then over the top I have paired a faux leather trench coat. It's really comfortable but it keeps in the warmth as well and it's actually a really nice faux leather. It doesn't have that weird fish smell that some uh, faux leather can and I'm just absolutely obsessed with leather trenches for spring coming into spring and summer as well as winter. Then as an additional layer I have a big massive scarf. I adore my Acne Studio scarf. It's featured in a few of favourite videos before. Just because it's so big it's literally double the width of what you can see here. It's dark on the other side so you can choose which way that you wear it. They have this in so many different colours 
I know it's expensive, about £180 for a scarf, but personally I've had my cost per wear out of it and I absolutely love it. It's great for travelling as well because you can have it as a blanket, you can wear it so many ways to keep you nice and snuggly and warm. So I've got that as an extra layer. If it was a bit colder I would be popping on my flat Bottega kind of knee high boots to keep my legs warm. But hopefully if it's sunny like today I would just go for my trusty Converse, absolutely obsessed with CDG Converse, you may know this, just my favourite my favourite trainer, I actually have a styling video on these uh, from last spring summer but let me know if you want a more up-to-date one of ways that I'm wearing them and then I've just finished it off with a little bag that you can have in your hand or wear across body mine is just a Balenciaga mini city one that I've had for about six years now it's in a suede material I don't think they make this one anymore but just one of my go-to bags that I'll go and grab if I'm running errands and this is 100% a really nice cosy and warm coffee date outfit that you can feel a little bit more put together in and a little bit sexy as well. No matter what you're up to I hope you managed to have a really nice Valentine's Day this year in what seems to have become the norm. I don't feel like I'm missing out by not going out for a meal and I'm actually quite excited to just have a nice cosy snuggly night in but if you guys enjoyed this video I would love if you subscribe to my channel and go check me out on Instagram and I will see you in a new video next week. Bye guys!